Well, um, I'm really, really stupid. You'll never see me attacking a dead person or a disabled person. You'll see that almost every day on Adonis Paul and his friends' channels. And then you question why I don't think they should be on YouTube. You'll never see me attacking a dead person or a disabled person. Oh, but midget is such a hateful word. Yeah, and it still doesn't get across the distaste and the disgust that I have in my heart. Fuck your anorexia, bitch! You'll never see me attacking a dead person or a disabled person. You have no idea what I could say about your dead daughter. And do you know what you could do about it? Do you know what you could do about it if I published a book like that with your child's name in it, stating all of these lies and slanderous allegations? Do you know what you could fucking do with that? You could shove it up your ass because there is nothing you could do about it. Because once somebody is dead, you can pretty much say whatever you want. I deleted the original video, so I can't show the full context, but if you watch the rest of that video, it clearly states, I'm not going to say anything about anybody that's not in my family. Fuck your anorexia, bitch! They took that video saying, I'm not attacking other people. And then added in something that I said about my family and said I was lying about not attacking people. No, that person I was talking about is a member of my family. This is why I was talking about them in that video. You took two separate videos, edited them so that the important part was cut out and then made it look like I lied. I did not. The midget I was talking about was Kathy's daughter. Kathy is my aunt. Kathy is the one that visited my brother's grave with apple juice after supporting and participating in a fundraiser to urinate on my brother's grave. Yes, I have the right to say things about her children. I have the right to talk about Kathy's children because Kathy desecrated my brother's grave. I'm not sad about that. I'm not ashamed of it. I will speak about my family. I'm not talking about strangers. Fuck your anorexia, bitch! You've edited these videos to make it look like I'm talking about a stranger maliciously, and I was not. Hey, Kathy. You want to keep talking about my little brother? You want to keep lying about my little brother? Okay. But don't get mad when you start hearing lies about your daughter. How's that, bitch? You want to tell people that what you did was out of love because little Ronnie loved apple juice? How about my next book? has your fucking daughter's name in it. How about my next book has your daughter as a main character as a whore? A midget whore. How about that, Kathy? Keep lying about little Ronnie and see how famous I can make Angela's name. My lies, if I wanted to sit here and write up a whole book of lies about you and your children, 
would be a hell of a lot more believable than what you're trying to spread about a handicapped child. My brother did nothing to you. You have used him to hurt me, and I will not allow him to be used. You will either stop lying about my little brother, or you will learn how to live with lies about your daughter. Because I don't know shit about Angela, Kathy. I don't know anything about her that will not stop me from writing an entire book about how Becca big of a whoring bitch she was. I will write a book saying that that little midget started whoring at eight years old. You don't know what I'll say. All right, you're talking about my little brother, my handicapped brother who could never hurt anybody. You have no idea what I could say about your dead daughter. And you know what you could do about it? Do you know what you could do about it if I published a book like that with your child's name in it stating all of these lies and slanderous allegations? Do you know what you could fucking do with that, Kathy? You could shove it up your ass because there is nothing you could do about it because once somebody is dead, you can pretty much say whatever you want. So yeah, you have the right to tell these lies about little Ronnie. But I also have the right to tell those same lies about your child. So you might want to think hard about whether you want to continue lying to people about my handicapped brother. Because I'm about tired of having people come to me with your lies about my brother that you did not know. You want people coming to you with lies about your daughter told by somebody who didn't know her? Is that what you want? Is that why you're pushing so hard? Because I can give you that. I've already published two books. You think it would take a whole hell of a lot for me to publish up a third? I've spent my entire life being abused by you people, and now you're going after my little brother, and it's not going to happen. It will not happen. You will not continue using my little brother to abuse me. You will not continue using his memory to hurt. You will not use my brother in vengeance. You've already disrespected him. Stop lying about him. But since I know the lies are not going to stop, everybody should be prepared for my next book up on Smashwords soon. I'm going to start writing it literally today. And the very next time somebody comes to me with a lie about my brother said by Kathy, that book's being published. Keep an eye out. It's going to be called Angela. The Magical Midget. Damn, you're ugly.